Okay, right here I have an L16 Compact Logics processor, and we're going to go ahead and create a simple program for it and download it to it. Okay, I'll go ahead and double click on Studio 5000, and once it finds the activation, I will go ahead and click on New Project. Now I'll select Logics. This is an L16. I'll give it a name of Test L16. Click Next. Uh, version 24 is the version I have in it. Don't have any expansion I.O. Zero modules. I'll hit finish. And now Studio 5000 is creating my project. Okay, now my program's open. I'm going to go ahead and expand main program and double click on main routine. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so we can see, see things better here. And if we look at the L16, we can see we have some built-in inputs and outputs. So that's what I'm going to use for my program. I'll go ahead and grab a XIC in an OTE. For the XIC, I'll choose an input here. And I'll choose local one input data zero. And for the output, I will choose local one output data zero zero. I'll go ahead and verify my project. No errors. So I'm going to go to Communications to Active. Now I could download via USB, but in this case I'm going to download via Ethernet. You can see my processor right there. I don't have to click through this like I did with the L23. I can just hit download. And it's asking me if I want to replace what's already in the controller. And I'll say yes. And now Studio 5000 is downloading my new program. And I'm online. I can go ahead and change the processor to run. And now the processor is in run mode. Now I don't actually have any inputs or outputs wired to my controller just yet. So in the next episode, I'm going to show you how to um, force inputs and outputs. But for now, that's it for this episode of the Automation Minute.